The first thing about transportable table spaces is that it works in both ways, in the physical way and the logical way. For the physical way is how we move the data files. So the data files can be unplugged from the source system, copied to the target system and plugged there. However, for the metadata, which are all your users or your objects, metadata like your procedures, your packages, all the privileges you have, all the jobs, etc you move them in a logical way. So you create a dump file, we export them from the source system and we import them on the target system. In a few slides, we will see this step, this process working step by step. So imagine your, your table spaces. For the system table spaces, we don't move it again. We move the metadata in a logical way. So we export the metadata which is the data that's your system table spaces using data pump. While for your data table spaces, we copy the data files and possibly even convert them if you're growing cross NDNS. The benefits of transportable table spaces is that first it's NDNS independent. So we can go, let's say from AIX, which runs in bit Indian, to Oracle Cloud, which runs Oracle Linux, which are small NDNS. Or you can even go from Windows to Linux that are the same NDNS. You can use, it, you can use this method to go from, uh, from a lower version to a higher version, like moving from 11.204 to 19C. And also to move from the non-multi-tenant architecture in a non-CDB architecture to a pluggable database. Okay, the transport and convert step of the transportable table spaces can happen in two ways. One using RMAN, which will create a backup. We'll move, you can move this backup to the target system. Then you convert this backup to the NDNS of your target system and you restore it. Or you can use DBMS file transfer to do these two steps in a single step uh, in a flight conversion, okay? So the advantage of using DBMS file transfer is that you won't need the double space in your target system to first store the backup set and then convert it. It's done in a single step. The downside of using DBMS file transfer is that the latest version of the Perl script that we have, which is version four, does not support this method, only version three.